Hi everyone, I'm back with another how-to video. This time it's about how to get Rhino, and I'm actually using a newbie-friendly loadout here. What I mean by that is if I just go into the arsenal here, and go into the um, upgrades for the mods, you'll be able to see that this Excalibur right here I have is actually equipped with some, well, mods that you start off with, like these flawed mods for instance. When you complete a bunch of early missions in the game, like after the tutorial, it will give you these mods and they can only be upgraded up to like level 3 for this one. And level 3 as well for this one, when normally it can go all the way, all the way up to level 9. So, I'm basically using all these mods to show you that the enemy you have to beat, the Jackal, can be beaten even if your loadout isn't that good. And this is, and also um, bear in mind that even though I do have an Orokin uh, reactor in here, which means it doubles the mod capacity of this Warframe, I'm still basically equipping the mods as if I only had 30 capacity and didn't have one of those. Oh, and also, this thing here, it's just the MK1 Bratton. I actually um, like this weapon already a lot, and I've modded it to be really good. But as you can see, for this loadout, it's pretty much what you'd have if you were just a new player going into the game. Not very many good mods. And if you're wondering why it looks different, this is just skin on it. I'll show you. I can just take the skin off and then it looks com just like an average Bratton. But I like to have the skin on. It really makes no difference. So anyway, the rest of my loadout is also stuff a new player can get. The Exalted Blade already comes with this Warframe. Then the MK1 bow is basically just the beginner's stuff. And then the Furious is a pistol you can get really early on. And you may be thinking, well, geez, isn't Excalibur a bit hard to get? Don't you have to, like, face off against Lieutenant Lichcrew, which is this giant grenier with a hammer? Well, you did, except for the fact that a lot of new players choose Excalibur because he is one of the very first starting Warframes. Anyway, going on to the actual mission, you have to go and basically fight your way across Venus until you get to this mission, Fossa, where you can face the Jackal. And to do that, you would like usually start off on Earth when you started um, as start as a new player, and then you simply just fight your way down to the Venus Junction, which should be, should be very easy to beat. And then you just go along and just do these missions until you get to this one, which is um, the boss node. So here we go. Yeah, the tactics for this generally are, if you've watched my How to Beat the Razorback Armada video, um, it's a lot like that. This is basically a weaker Razorback, because the Razorback is actually pretty much an improved version of the Jackal. After lots of, co of field, field testing and probably testing it on unfortunate volunteers, the Corpus went and, um, upgraded the Razorback's co combat protocols and everything. I mean, the Jackal's combat protocols and probably made one of those or two of those or many of those into a Razorback. Yeah, so generally, the Corpus here are pretty easy to beat. They're really low level, so they don't really pose much of a threat. And the best thing is, when you're actually going to be in the Jackal fight, which you will see soon, it will actually lock the doors, preventing a lot of Corpus from getting in, which is actually a terrible tactic on the Corpus's part. Because sure, they could have all these like mowers and crewmen and everything just trying to shoot you all the time, but instead, the Jackal goes ahead, um, um, proceeds to do the door locking protocols, and locks itself in with only a bunch of mine Ospreys to help it, because they are the only things in there that keep spawning. Terrible, terrible security measures by the Corpus once again. Yeah, here's the Jackal. If it doesn't attack you right away, it's probably because you're in a public game, and all the players haven't gotten close enough. Okay, so, start off, it will use those, it's, um, it will use its twin machine guns to try and attack you, avoid them, just hide behind a pillar like so, and start off, shoot in the leg. Just keep shooting in the leg, over and over. Make sure you concentrate on the same leg, because each individual leg has its own health bar. Oh, and also make sure to dodge these shockwaves. They've uh, been turned blue now, and uh, the game has basically upgraded the Jackal a little bit, so it deals more damage than it used to. Yeah, so once you've um, hit the leg enough, the Jackal will go into a down state, and then you shoot the actual Jackal. It does also tend to get confused a little, as you can see here, so... And it does maybe t also actually apparently take a little bit of time to turn around, so you can use this to your advantage, like I just did just there. It also really helps if you use area effect weapons against it. In this case, I'm going to use the Exalted Blade, because while swinging the Exalted Blade, you can pretty much hit all parts of the Jackal, and even kill the Minos Praise at the same time. Okay, now the Jackal has entered pretty much its second stage of combat, where it gets angry or something, I don't know, or maybe it just 
treats you as a actually like an actual threat and then updates its combat protocols to start shooting missiles at you. Either way, you want to dodge the missiles like I just just, just uh, like I did just there, and um, and not let them hit you. A good way of dodging the missiles is doing uh, is start running like this. Then you do a slide move and get behind one of these pillars, uh, because then you can trick the missiles into hitting the pillar and they do no damage. Also, keep in mind that even if you are a new player, you probably won't need too many ammo mutation mods to go and refill your weapons. Because the mine Ospreys here, not only do they drop ammo, but there's actually continuous ammo being spawned from the roof that comes like uh, ammo crates that will come along these things. As you can see there, right, right there, there's one. And when it reaches the end, it will break because the um the little the, the rail the rail tracks in these in this room have not been built properly. They're like half finished. So even if you completely run out of ammo, just either melee a few mine Ospreys like these, or go and just wait for the things to drop, and then start shooting the jackal again. You can of course use your Warframe abilities on the mine Ospreys to kill them, but it's the, who knows if you actually have enough energy at that point to use the abilities. Like as you can see, this exalted blade here is draining my energy quite a lot. Yeah, so this actually pretty much is the Jackal fight, but um, I'm going to just keep um, playing and talk generally a little bit because I want to discuss some um, tips that you can um, use to beat it if you have other players with you. Okay, so one of the main things you want to keep in mind is to not go and revive someone if these missiles are really, really close to them, because then what will usually happen is you go to revive them and the missiles will slam into you and down you, and then it becomes just a horrible, horrible cycle of downing. Another thing you also want to keep in mind is that down here, the floor is electric. So if you fall down here, I'll actually just demonstrate. Oh, okay, apparently it was only electric in the Razorback Armada event. But it will reset you, as you can see there. And you don't really want to get reset, because what that potentially allows the Jackal here to do, that I just killed, is it will do its stomp move. Then I'll just, for example, show you what I mean. Like It will like make you uh, fly over the edge. And then the next shockwave will come while you are getting reset, and it will also shove you over the edge, making you continuously stun locked. In fact, I'm not even sure what the best way to get out of that is. I guess just perform a slide, like a crouch jump, and by that I mean you like just run, you slide, and then you jump, like so. Yeah, so that um, pretty much covers how to beat the jackal. But before I go to the end, I want to cover that. If you are having trouble with this, I suggest either upgrading your Warframe some more and your mods, getting to a higher level if you aren't already max level, like level 30, it really can help. As well as that, uh, well, as I already said, getting help from players. Then there are also little booster items and pickups you can get yourself. For example, this thing here, basically the community has called them health pizzas, and I'll show you why. If you activate it, it gives you, this one gives you a massive amount of health. And the uh, normal ones you can get that aren't as good as this one, which you get from Syndicates, by the way, for 20,000 standing. And you may not have that much standing or aren't that high rank with Syndicates. You should give you around 100 health per burst. But it can still be an excellent idea to place one of these down and then just hide behind the nearest pillar while you're fighting the Jackal. Also, another thing I recommend to fight the Jackal if you're really having trouble is Spectres. Spectres are like your little own AI controlled, so computer controlled in this case. Like the game controls them, not other players. Warframe, that will help you. I'll demonstrate right now by deploying one of my Spectres. It's actually not even that high rank, it's just a phase Spectre. This is an Excalibur I've gotten, who wields a flamethrower in Ignis. And he is so, so helpful. As you can see, he just roasts anything that gets in my way. He'll stay right near me, and the best thing is, right now he's on follow, so if I start moving, he will start moving with me. He'll basically run around and protect me. And as you can see right there, it was actually kind of hard to see, but he used the third, um, he, he actually used his third ability, which is this one. Radio Javelin. You slam your, um, in Excalibur, this is only for Excalibur, by the way. You slam your sword into the ground and make a bunch of javelins shoot off and hit enemies and hurt them. Yeah, so generally I recommend getting a Spectre to help you. And keep in mind that if your Spectre is low health and about to die, you can either deploy another one, at which point the original one will fall to the floor dead, as seen here. Or, if you want to keep it alive, 
then you can either try and use a healing frame like Oberon, in which case this thing actually will get healed. Don't know why Mo Moas keeps spawning out of this cabinet. Or drop a health pizza like I just did before. Yeah, so that, um... That pretty much actually covers it for this video on how to beat the Jackal and how to get Rhino. Nice, quick, and easy. I'm going to stop it right here and probably have a few more whacks to this mower cabinet because it seems to be acting a lot like a clown car. I'm not sure this is actually bug or not, but... I mean, if it isn't, I say, if you're low on experience and maybe want some pollen bundle or something, why not just come here and wait for the mowers to spawn? They seem to be endless. Yeah, so anyway, uh... I'm gonna end the video now. Good luck on your rhino part collecting.